Video 3, Cannabis and Cognition. Certainly, acute cannabis intoxication is associated with impaired memory, impaired attention, decreases in concentration, impaired coordination, and changes in judgment. Studies have shown that chronic cannabis users can develop tolerance to some of these acute effects of intoxication. But now we want to ask the question, are there long-term effects on cognition that come with cannabis use? Research studies have investigated whether cannabis use is associated with effects on cognition that persist after the acute intoxicating effects of THC have subsided. Overall, these studies show that in adults who use cannabis recreationally, cognitive measures like verbal fluency, attention, and concentration are normal. However, heavy, regular, or daily cannabis use is associated with a decrease in cognitive function when it comes to impulsivity and decision-making. Nonetheless, we can't say that cannabis causes cognitive deficits in adults. It's not known which came first, the cognitive deficit or the cannabis use. It's possible that people with impulsive decision-making are more likely to be using cannabis heavily and regularly as adults. What advice can we give to our patients? We know that intermittent light cannabis use is not likely to have serious long-term effects on cognition. Those who use cannabis regularly are likely to perform reasonably well on routine, everyday life tasks, but they might encounter difficulties when performing complex tasks that are novel, require learning, or rely heavily on memory. It's also key to recognize that the interaction of reduced executive function or impulsive decision-making in cannabis use has a higher likelihood of leading to a cannabis use disorder. Now I'll move on to cannabis and cognition in children. In young people, cannabis use may have long-term effects. Some studies show that cannabis use in individuals under the age of 17 is associated with impairments in executive functioning, abstract reasoning, verbal fluency, learning, and memory, and that these effects persist beyond acute intoxication. However, this research again cannot show a causal effect. We don't know if cannabis is causing the cognitive deficits since it's possible that the cognitive issues preceded cannabis use. Given that the human brain, especially the prefrontal cortex, continues to develop and prune until about age 25, cannabis use in young people should be considered high risk. When it comes to the developing brain, less exposure to cannabis is certainly better. And this applies to all drugs as little drug exposure for as long as possible is the best approach. So the key points here is that cannabis can be associated with acute cognitive changes. Acute intoxication results in impaired concentration, impaired attention, impulsivity, and decreases in working memory. In adults, most of these effects will wear off with abstinence. However, impulsivity and long-term impairment in decision-making is seen in heavy cannabis users. In adolescents, cannabis use is more closely associated with cognitive problems. Cannabis use is best avoided in this age group.